Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and today I'm doing a movie review. Someone suggested that I do a movie review, and, um, by the way, it's Root Beer. Um, I was like, yeah, there was a movie that I'd like to talk about. It's a movie that's kind of hard to find on, um, um, TV, you know, the Western channels, or so on and so forth. Uh, the only place I've really been able to find it is on Amazon. Uh, you know, buying the DVD, I haven't found it for digital download or anything, but that is The Iron Mistress by Alan, well, featuring Al, Alan Ladd and uh, Virginia Mayo, or Mayo. Um, and this is an old black and white video. I can't remember, it says um, uh, Technicolor on the cover, but I haven't watched it in a while, but I think it is black and white. But this is an awesome movie. It has an awesome story. It's the story of uh, Jim Bowie and um, how he got into the knife fighting game and uh, his love life. And uh, it, it it starts it starts off from uh, him being uh, dark pearl, you know, impoverished. Um, you know, his mom having to sell him some clothes to go to New Orleans to uh, sell wood. And, um, you know, he, he, he um, it, this has a lot to do with the dueling, uh, culture of the time. And, um, if, it's a very fascinating culture. Um, you'll have someone, if someone insulted a woman, you could have a guy in the back corner who has no relation to that woman, and they would feel compelled to, um, uh, challenge you to a duel that could end in one of both of you dying. So, um... Jim Bowie has some duels in this, and um, there was a woman, and I forget her uh, name, or, um, uh, let's see, it's, uh, I can't, I can't remember her name, it's like Judeline, Judeline, uh, but the uh, main woman of this movie is basically manipulating Jim Bowie, and, uh, and it's because of this woman that Jim Bowie kills a lot of men. And this movie does not cover the Alamo. It's not an Alamo movie. This is very much a pre-Alamo movie, pre-Jim Bowie reputation movie. Uh, Jim Bowie's really just, you know, he ends up in New Orleans trying to sell um, 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 wood. And he falls in love with a woman. And the woman uh, sees that Jim Bowie is... Um, infatuated with her, and he she uses him to get certain things done. And uh, very few movies cover this uh, aspect of Jim Bowie's life, but they they feature uh, Jim Bowie going to James Black's shop in Arkansas, and uh, he uh, asks James Black to make him a knife. He says he needs a knife that uh, he says guns fail, swords fail. I need something that will not fail. And so um, James Black makes him the Bowie knife. Now this Bowie knife is not necessarily historically accurate, but it is a iconic Bowie knife. In fact, if you go to Randall's website and you uh, Randall made knives and you look at the Smithsonian Bowie that they make, it's the Bowie that's featured in the Smithsonian uh, Museum. Um, it's a copy of the Iron Mistress in this movie. And so, even though this movie uh, doesn't really capture a, a, a accurate depiction of a Bowie knife, it is so iconic in this movie, and it was so uh, inspirational uh, to so many knife makers that they make a Bowie knife like the, um, uh, at the Iron Mistress, and Randall has a model called the Smithsonian, and it's basically a copy of the Iron Mistress, but they're, but with their handle. And um, for a long time, you could buy replicas of the Iron Mistress on um, like Bud K and other old knife dealers. Um, and also, uh, this movie was the inspiration for a lot of custom knife makers. Um, you know, obviously they inspired. Um, uh, Randall made knives to make their version of the knife. John Fidson was inspired to make a, a knife from this uh, because of this movie. Uh, a lot of people who wanted to make a Bowie knife, this was their inspiration. And um, just to let you know, this is like I think a 1960s movie. 
Uh, it's pretty old. My grandmother knew who Alan Ladd was, but she didn't remember this movie. Uh, but uh, I bought it, and a cool thing about it, you know, if you have a girlfriend, wife, mother, whatever, that loves those period movies, you know, those uh, Georgian, Victorian movies, I know those are two different time periods, but those, the Jane, Jane Austen movies and stuff, and they like the old love stories and drama and stuff, Get this movie and you both will enjoy it because this has a lot of that drama in it that um, women like and it has violence in it that men like. It's not gory, it's not um, vulgar or anything, but it will keep both of your attention. So um, this is the movie Our Mistress and um, it is one of my favorite uh, black and white movies. Uh, my two favorite black and white movies. Um, this and King Kong, the original King Kong, um, and I also like Twilight Zone, the original Twilight Zone. So, um, anyways, this is my, um, DVD review. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.